What is up Guitar Legends, Sam Wild here, we're looking at Elliot's song today from Euphoria. Uh, you don't need a capo, standard tuning, and it's quite a simple song. Feel free to just adjust anything I show you in this lesson because you can kind of play around with this a little bit and be creative with the way you do it. But I'm going to at least show you the chords and uh, a few different ways that you can approach playing it, okay? So for the first verse, you can just play one strum for each chord. We have A sus. E sus E and the E is pushed. Right. So for A sus I use fingers three and four. Just makes the next chord easier. Everything else is open. Although you can see I block the E string. I block it with my thumb. I just rest the thumb against the string just to stop it from ringing out. Right? Then we have B sus four. Right. My middle finger again, just resting on the E string because we don't want it. Then I have this sort of power chord shape and also open B and open E. And then just your standard E major shape using fingers two, three, and one. All right, so pause the video if you need to work on these. The rhythm again, just one and two and three and four and one and two and three and four. And three and four, and then for the fourth time, little star. Now, when we get to the chorus, we can do the nice picking. Okay, now to make it sound this soft, you need to have the palm of your hand resting on the bass strings. Okay, so it's just resting there, and then you get that palm use effect, all right? For those of you that wanna take your playing to the next level, make sure you sign up to my premium membership website. You'll gain access to all my backing tracks, all of my lessons, and I'll teach you how to improvise, solo, and play advanced chords. Enjoy the rest of your lesson, guys. Now we're gonna use the same chords, A, B, E. But we're not gonna have the E pushed anymore. It's gonna be on the beat, one, two, three, four, one, two, three, four, okay? So do some simple arpeggios here from the A string, right? Then the B, again from the A string. Then we go down to the E string for the E chord. And we have a little gap, dun, 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 dun. Right? When we do it again. Dun, 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 dun. Okay, now the third time, we're gonna play C sharp minor. It looks like this. So we just slide our B sus shape up to fret four. And if you want to, you can add middle finger to uh, B5 as well. All right? Um, for this first chorus though, we're just picking on the power chord, right? So you don't need to worry about the top note so much. Okay, so A, B, C sharp. All right. Then to finish the whole chorus, we have F sharp, B, E. And again, you can palm you pick. So F sharp, you can see I've got middle finger here in the bass, fret two, with a sus on top. All right, we get this really nice F sharp shape. Then B, which we know, to E, which we know. But now we're gonna progress this E major arpeggio. 
So you can see it's always just one, we're not over skipping any strings, we're just doing one string at a time. Dun, 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 dun. Dun, 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 dun. I like to split it in half in my mind. So four notes here, and then four notes here. Right. Okay. That brings us into verse two. Now verse two you could play just what we did for verse one if you want to. Or we can keep the palm mute thing going like so. Against the world, just a couple sins making fun of hell. Keep you here. I'll only be doing it for myself. Okay, there is a really cool effect um, on the E chord just the first time round, which you can do if you want to. Sounds like this. So we start the same one, two, three notes for E major. Then you have to skip to the E string and we hammer on the pinky to fret two. And then we're just gonna arpeggio down. Right. So that's just the first time here in verse two. So A, B, E. Right, then the rest of it you just keep it like this. Keep you here, I'll only be doing it for myself. Little song. Okay, from the second chorus, you have some options here. You can just play one strumper chord. Little song. But I think it doesn't quite sound busy enough. You can also keep the palm muting going. Oh, like you fell right on my head. That's quite nice too. Personally, I like to strum a little bit more. So I tend to play one, two, and three, and four. 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 You'll notice that some of my strums are very quiet and some are louder. You tend to strum a bit louder on the first few strums. And the last few strums of each chord, you can play a bit quieter, okay, because the space kind of uh, opens up a lot in the song in between chords, okay, because there's not a lot of noise happening. All right, so really try and get some emotion out of your strumming with the dynamics, you know, have some loud strums and some quiet strums in there. Okay, once we finish the second chorus, we can go into the bridge. Now for the bridge, we just have F sharp to B. Uh, and again, you can palm U and just do arpeggio. I tend to do strums. I know this thing is broken, so I leave my door wide open. And we do it four times. One day we'll meet a little star. All right, and we can keep the strumming going. Right, and this time it's a double chorus. My guitar. Right. And then to finish the whole song, when we get to the end, you'll notice it goes, I hope it was worth it in the end. Does it twice? I hope it was worth it in the end. We can just play that little chord progression twice at the end. Alright guys, that is everything. The play along is coming up now, so you can play along with me. We'll have 
the song in the background and you'll have the chord diagrams and the, the tab, etc. to kind of guide you through. Um, feel free to, again, change anything I've shown you here and just experiment with it a little bit. It's very simple, so you can kind of do whatever you want. Um, and then when you're ready, just try and play the song uh, to, the, to the actual song or perhaps on your own, all right? If you haven't checked out my cover of this song yet, the link is in the description. Please check that out. Uh, if you found this lesson helpful, please give it a like, subscribe, make sure you hit the notification bell icon as well. All right, thanks so much for watching. I'll see you in the next video. Feels like you feel